Oh, Tony. What you were sharing before, uh, when uh, you just started sharing about how when you were Tony Parson, oh yeah, and then there was just like in love with the smallest things like an eyebrow or sitting or whatever it was, that struck such a powerful chord with really? me right. because. I think I told you on the phone recently, that's how it is for me more and more, just even as a me, where there's just in loveness with whatever is in front it's of just me. What? It's all, I can't even say it's being in love with, but it's just, it is like the smallest things, just yeah, like, yeah. just some kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The problem, well, you, you know, you're not doing any of that. Nobody, I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to describe how it was or what seemed to happen. I'm, in a way, I'm describing, well, nothing apparently happening with Tony Parsons, you know, and that's what you're doing. But there's nobody in this room that can then say, oh, I'm going to concentrate on what's happening right now, because there's hundreds of teachers out there telling people to do that anyway. <laughs> Develop your awareness about it's bullshit. There isn't anybody that can do it. But something... There's something in it that sort of rings bells for people, I think. It was bang, the way you said it was just bang on. Sorry? The way you said it was just bang on. Yeah. But then the problem was when you said, and then you died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Um, Just as William was talking there, you know, like you were a builder and said the Twin Towers in New York were a massive building. No, say that again. You were a builder, yeah? Take it a bit further away, yes. Go on. You I were, was a builder, yeah. Yeah. And a building is a very detailed thing in, in the me or whatever. But like kids build little sandcastles in, in, in the beach, you know? They, oh, uh, yeah. It's nearly the same miracle as building... Sandcastle on the beach is building the Twin Towers in New York, yeah? We think the Twin Towers is better. <laughs> Would you say? Well, there isn't a better or worse. There's only what's happening. We were always... I was just a very successful <coughs> builder yeah. at the time. And I also... Um, but I didn't do any of this. And I was also involved with people in the middle of London yeah. who, who wanted me to do their houses up and, and spend a lot of money with them mm. doing that. And I was good at that sort of thing. I, I was, uh, it seemed, although it didn't be, but I was very good at organising, detailing everything. Yeah. And that made it great success of my business. Oh. You probably hit it again. No, I didn't do any of that. That's what happened. Yeah, in the 80s, <coughs> apparently in the 80s, building was very good in London, yeah? In the 80s. I, I can't do that. I honestly haven't got a very good memory of that. Mm. It might have been... The 80s, or it might have been before that. I can't remember that. Well, it, it's just a story, anyway. I know I had to sell my business when there was a slump in building. Mm. Was it? Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, Claire what? and I started a publishing business later on. Yeah. And that, again, was very successful. I bought a little um, company called Southwest Connection in London, in mm. England. I drove up and bought this this. This little magazine, little free yeah. magazine about therapy. And I bought it from this guy and I put his computer in the back of the car and for £2,000 the whole thing. And I took it back to Claire, who was the only one that could handle this awful old computer. But we turned that thing and as I was driving back to the house, I thought, well, the Southwest Connection is very good. I'm going to start a London connection. And it's that sort of that sort of thing in, in yeah. the character of a person. And we started and it was one of the most successful magazines in travel in England by the time we got to mm. selling it for far, far more than we ever bought it for. But yeah. it was just one of those things that happened. That's right. That's that's what I'm saying, it's like we can compare and look at each other and it's meaningless because we have no free will or choice of what's happening. Well, anyway. well, I didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah. 
Claire and I did it, and we created something wonderful. But really, in mm. a way, we both know that it was what was happening. <laughs> It's amazing, man. And you know, the open secret, I wrote, you know, I didn't write it, but it got written. And we started talking to people in England and and in America and that, but we didn't do any of that. It's just what was happening. And that's now what we do. Yeah, that's the most uh, attractive part of this message. You have this kind of um, irreverence and <laughs> kind of recklessness about, you know, it's, it's I don't know how to put oh, it into words. Totally radical. Totally radical, crazy. And uh, I think at that time, Maybe I was the only person in the very beginning talking about it in this very radical way. Yeah. There's no purpose, there's no meaning, there's no one, there's no teaching. And then what followed later on has exploded into what we know now. Mm. Mind you, there are still not many people talking about it in this way. Hardly any. There's a lot of people out there talking about what they think is non charity and is it in all. A lot of them actually mention your name, but still they don't see, they seem to have kind of got into helping people a bit or something. Well, they, 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 you know they, what try, I'm saying? they do try to help people, so it's got nothing to do with non drug. Some of those people though, that are quite well known now would be actually originally, I've heard what you were saying back 30 years ago or whatever. Some of the people that are now very well, well known would have heard you 30 years ago, but it seemed to have kind of gone into the teaching thing as well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but most of the people who apparently are talking about non jollity are talking about jollity. Yeah. I hardly know. I There's hear a handful of people I know who are completely... Don't give a shit, like? Well, they're just very well, not clear. That don't give it's a shit. very clear. Yeah. The message is very clear. It's not their message. Not that you don't give a shit, but it's... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi, Tony. I'd like to ask you about um, sex, romantic love. Sex? Yes, yeah, sex. <laughs> now we're getting to the important bit. Yeah. So sex, love, and, and longing. I think there's... Um, there's something similar about falling in love. Um, I think there can be other moments of um, attraction which aren't anything to do with love, but are sexually uh, energised. Um, but falling in love is quite a rare phenomenon, really. It happens to people. And it, as I say, it's very similar to it has the same similarity as this because it's about giving up oneself to something bigger than even the other person. But uh, in the normal sense, you know, that we're talking about in the dualistic story, the whole sexual drive and attraction drive is only really fed by need. However, romanticized it might be. And how about the longing to merge? Longing is not something... I don't actually think me longs, because me is more frightened of its own absence. It longs for its own absence, but it's more frightened of it than anything. I think longing, for me, comes out of something that's beyond the person. And sexual energy is just energy. It can just yeah. it can just happen or not happen. Yeah. Hi. 
Uh, I was wondering when uh, Tony fell away. Tony fell away when there was no mm. I. Oh, when Tony was no more. Yes. Did it ever come back? Oh no. Well, it did before. But it can. There can be a glimpse and a sense. Me and being seems to happen. Me being me being. It's the easiest way of saying it. And then one day, me doesn't come back anymore. But how? But there's how, nothing that yeah. can be. There's no, there's no one that has anything to do with that. It's just what apparently happens. But how can you be sure it will never come back? How? Oh, you don't. But all the time there is, um, all the time it's seen that all there can be is nothing apparently happening. Then the apparent me coming back is just another thing that's happening. It's not any longer giving any energy. There's nothing it can get hold of which would then um, take possession of it. It's just another thing that's happening. Hi, Tony. Thank you. In one of your books, you write a strong statement about people who have who uh, lead personal development programs, where they um, help people grow. And, what was that? Oh, I forget which one. You wrote many. <laughs> it wouldn't be a recommendation. No, 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 no. It wasn't a recommendation. And how how personal development programs like that help sustain or um, what sustain sustain the the, the, the uh, separate Division. self? Yeah. Yes. Non -dual, uh, dualism. Right. I am one of those. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and, you are really. Hold on. There, isn't, there isn't anybody that is one of those. Right. That's just what happened. You are what's happening. Right. And about a year ago, I called you with a dilemma that puts me in, because how I don't want to help people sustain their separate self. And you said on the phone, "Well, don't worry. Just go on. That's what's happening." No, you There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. You're not doing it. It's just what's happening. It has no meaning or purpose of any kind, so what the hell? Hello? Oh my. Yeah. Oh. I have a question. Oh. You fit. There's somebody else. Okay. I was I was wondering, Tony, if you Oh what? If you <laughs> it's a stupid question maybe, but if you look in the mirror, who do you see or what oh, I don't see anybody, just somebody incredibly good looking, but you know, <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know if to look in the mirror. Why bother? Yeah, is it different than it's when? Just a, when it's just an image. Is it different than it was before? Well, of course it is, because when I before I was looking at what some at something that I thought was Tony Parsons, so there'd be a whole investment in that. Now it's another thing that's happening, apparently. Because actually, I I wondered because I saw uh, um, on YouTube a, a woman who had uh, Alzheimer or dementia, and she looked in the mirror, but she wouldn't recognize herself. Oh, she okay. would see herself as a friend. She, you know, oh, I see her often, but she didn't know 
it mm. was her. Mm. Is that is, is there a similarity? Anything. I don't know enough about that sort of. No, topic. but it's yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just earlier, we were talking about the mean and being, yeah, mean, being. Then I, I've listened to a lot of you on YouTube, I've, hours of you on YouTube, yeah, I've listened to you a lot on YouTube. And you talk about um, one scene, and Andreas says the same, one scene, it's, it's seen that there was never a me. Once you see yeah. it, well, you don't see that there's never a me, but when the illusion of me is no more, it's absolutely obvious that there never, it was always only an illusion. But then you could never really go back then. No. You know? no, but then I'm saying somebody else, if the sense of me or the neurosis, some heavy neurosis they hold in the brain mm. after the identification is no more, although it never was, and that can regurgitate, but it's now something that's apparently happening. There isn't mm. anybody that's taking possession of it. Okay. A question? I don't know. Um, about belief. Is um, about belief. Believe, belief. Believing. It happens in Jews. Yes. Uh, would you say that uh, it's the same kind of energy or is the same energy as searching? As what? Searching, like search, the research, search. Search, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I it's, find it's, it's quite like similar. trying to hold on to something that you think is important, like yeah. a truth, or whether yeah. it's that truth. But in a way, it's very similar to searching for a truth that you can hold on to. Well, it could be any any belief, not oh, yeah. only uh, totally. Yeah. Oh, at every level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So when we were in like Pax Lodge, when they, we were in Pax Lodge in London, Pax Lodge. Oh yeah, Pax Lodge. Pax Lodge. On the Sunday in the break, there was a group of us talking, and you said that that is completely unprincipled. It's completely like you. That body is completely unprincipled. Yeah. Un unprincipled. You don't follow any principles. Unprincipled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's kind of like, because obviously for the individual, there's such, like I said before, there's such a filtering of behavior, like what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. Is there no fear of consequences at all? There's no such thing as a serious consequence. No, I said, is there no fear of consequences? Okay, so the me is always monitoring its behavior according to what it thinks it fears the consequence is going to be. So I'm saying for you, there's no trying to monitor your behavior. Yeah, oh God, no. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm asking... I don't you, monitor anything. There's no one here. It just comes out of nothing. <coughs> what you're hearing at the moment is coming out of nothing. So I'm asking, is there no fear of consequences? There aren't any consequences because there is no time. 
So nothing has any meaning or purpose. <laughs> it's called freedom. <laughs> the me doesn't know anything about freedom, does it? Who doesn't? The me doesn't know anything about freedom. No. Its idea of what it thinks freedom is, like a personal freedom, is just some experience. Um, re recently, I got fined 200 euros in Ireland for speeding. For what? Stealing? Speeding. <laughs> speeding in my speeding, car. Speeding, oh, speeding. A speeding fine, right? 160 euros. We're doing five miles an hour over the speed limit. Quite right. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like telling the law to fuck off, you know, but, but I had to pay. I, I paid the fine. The reason why I'm saying it is I didn't want the consequences of going to court and all that. So I, I decided to pay the money. So what? Well. Yeah, but... You didn't do any of that. Did you ever get caught? You, you, you had a Ferrari, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> Did you ever get caught speeding in the south of England? And you know what I mean? I don't know that I ever was, really, but I have got but a if you do, rear mirror. But if you do, <laughs> would you think about it? Like, I mean, because when you do get caught, it, there's a lot of shit hits the fan, you know? You the thing I liked about the Ferrari and, and some other cars I had, but we won't go into that, it gets boring. But what I liked more than anything else was standing at traffic lights with two other cars. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the lights went down. <laughs> then you looked in the rear mirror and the little dots. <laughs> I hear you. But it was a sensation of speed. Yeah. I didn't like flat out speed. I didn't like 100 miles an hour any of that crap. I like the... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's so hard to do that, Tony, in our countries, Ireland and England. I've been to England. Maybe. There's speed traps everywhere. You don't have freedom. Well, it wasn't like that when I was young. <laughs> well, in the 90s, you had... When I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're avoiding my question. <laughs> oh, what? Well, you, well, you're just doing what you're doing. You, you haven't done any of that. What's that? There well, aren't okay. any malls or... It costs a lot of money, though. Well, <laughs> you were just looking after yourself, weren't you? Yeah. You paid the fine in order to protect yourself. If I didn't pay it, I'd probably be coughed and taken in. Everything that the me does is about me. <laughs> Even if it appears to be self-sacrificing and loving, that's another load of bullshit. You know, mm -hmm. the people say, oh, I'm... it's mm -hmm. bullshit. It's all... Ah. Okay, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Quite phallic, that, isn't it? The most spiritual teachers are speaking Sorry. about the consciousness, but uh, I'm not getting that. Consequences, there aren't any. Consequences need time. Consciousness. Consciousness. The most, yeah, consciousness the most is a form of knowing, which only arises in Jews. But, but you. But uh, I've understand also what I see. Uh, no, I'm not hearing that. Okay. Uh, the most uh, teachers, uh, spiritual teachers, are speaking about consciousness. Who? Consciousness. 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 <laughs> and there's also uh, Jean Klein. He says, you are energy. We're speaking about energy. Uh, and he says, uh, feel that energy, and you are that energy. Uh, 
Can you say something? Well, a lot of people but, but say that. that. It's the same energy and consciousness about the same. And it's, oh, well, a lot of people say that and then contradict it by suggesting that you you have choice. There is no one, there's no choice. And consciousness no, no. is a true. form of knowing. But, but awareness and consciousness are forms of knowing which only arise in dualism. I know. I know I'm sitting on a chair. I know I'm sitting on a chair. Yeah. Dualism. There we are. But there are also scientists in, the, scientists, scientists in America, is, uh, uh, his name is Koch. He I'm says all is consciousness. All yeah. Not only, uh, oh, all his consciousness. Well, well, there are people that believe that, it all. All the, uh, yeah, yeah. All the, what is? All the mountains and the stones and the, and the ocean and all oh, the fish. But there are people that believe that all there is is consciousness. I don't know if you can yeah. say it, but. <laughs> Uh, okay. Have you finished? <laughs> That's okay. There are people that believe Sorry. that all is consciousness, and if you respect that belief, then you need to follow them, what they're teaching. Yeah, that's all that I'm concerned. Yes. It's all dualism. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Tony, so it seems to me that when you share this, this when, when you share this communication, there's a real joy and passion about it. Mm. But you know that we can't hear. It. Well, maybe something resonates, but w like we can't actually hear what you're saying. In no. this, so that it's always how rejected by the me. No, how could you hear that there's no you? So my question is, how can there be so much joy and passion about sharing this, knowing that no one will because ever I, hear? I, because it's coming out of nothing, so there's a sort of passionate love of it, if you like. But the idea that somebody might hear it or not hear it is completely irrelevant. Because there's no intention. No, of course not. So it's just free? Absolutely. It just comes yeah, out man. for no reason. <laughs> That's what it is, just wrong. Do you what feel... Whether anything you? happens... Well, it doesn't apparently happen, but whatever, whatever happens, happens. Sometimes, obviously, like a lot of the people here, probably there's a resonance, not yeah, there can me. be, it's not theirs, but yeah. Do you feel happy about the resonance, or are you Am not? I happy about yeah. it? I'm not resonance. happy or unhappy about it. There is resonance or there isn't. But Why would I be happy about it? Am I somebody, oh, I'm really, I go home to care and I say, I'm really happy about the resonance. The level of resonance, resonance was amazing. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm still trying to find an intention with the message. Don't I'm still think. trying to find an intention with the message. Hmm. Maybe because I have an intention, I assume there must be an intention with this. A what? Uh, with it? Maybe because I have an energy of intention about me, I assume I totally. project there's got to it be an intention. Out what, what's there there has to be an intention. No. Yeah. To any of the intention in there blocks everything out. The open secret.
Can you say something about Bordeaux? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Sorry. Uh, I was asking, can you say something about boredom? We if what? Boredom. Boredom. Boredom is a, is a dualistic energy. We can't find anything to get excited about. <laughs> it is, you know, it can't distract itself with some sort of process. Nothing to do about it. It's just, no, just another apparent thing. Which has no meaning. I wonder because you also told a little bit about your business. Um, a little bit louder. About your uh, because uh, a little bit about your business. Also, I was wondering how um, did the concept of money changed for you? It's just part of the incentive to to do what I did, but I didn't do any of it. The incentive uh, of, of of running a business. As far as I'm concerned, mainly was the absolute love of running something really well, mm. and and incidentally making a lot of money. Mm. I did really enjoy making a lot of money. Yeah, I like being rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, I, I fondly thought it was me doing that. And when you found that out, then? No, no, I didn't find anything out. No. Okay. I was wondering um, uh, when you were Tony, um, there was uh, some kind of you wanted maybe to control situations. Well, I thought there was. I dreamt there was. No, okay. And but after you died, <laughs> there was no Tony. No. Uh, did is there? Did it make place for trust? Total Sorry? trust. Uh, did the control like? At first, you you think you have things in control, but after you died, or after there was no Tony, uh, did that make place for total trust, or whatever is gonna happen? I'm not sure. Was it just trust? No, not necessarily. Like no, like now, do you? Is there something like oh, totally. trust? Well, there isn't anybody to totally trust it. It's absolutely obvious that all there is is nothing. Yeah. But at that time, for Tony Parsons, there was sort of, he thought he was in control of da 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 da, but also he was fearful of losing that control. It was a typical dualistic dream. And yeah. everybody's in that. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering if now that would be called trust in whatever's going to happen, you know? 
if it makes trust. Well, you could call it trust, but it's just another thing that's happening in the dualistic world. In 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 the free in freedom, there's no trust. There's no belief. There's nothing to trust. Trust. For trust to be realised, it needs time. There is no time. There is only the singular immediacy. We're all sitting in the singular immediacy of the beloved. That's all there is going on in this room. In this room, there is only that. Only that. What arises in that is the attempt to discuss it and understand it. That's also it. That's also the beloved. No, there aren't any enemies out there. There isn't anything out there that isn't the beloved. E. Totally. And it doesn't matter. You have proof and attacking. It doesn't matter. It's all appearances. There's no meaning, purpose or value in anything. Test. Hello. Would you say there is a sort of natural readiness coming with age? A natural readiness for this message coming with age? <laughs> <laughs> Not really, because in the end it still, for me, the idea of natural readiness is personal. Is there a possibility that the idea or the concept of non-duality is just another illusion of the me self-convincing itself that it doesn't exist? Oh, totally. <laughs> happening all the time. Well, it's happening quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening quite a lot. Well, everybody has their own... When they hear that, when this is heard, then different people have different ways of hearing it and reinterpreting it into something that they can do or get hold of or let go of. Some others don't, but others do. Okay. Tony, is the beloved real? No, of course not. No, there is nothing that's real. There isn't anything at all that's real. Everything is, you're looking at nothing. You are looking at nothing. <clears throat> it appears to be this very good looking, sort of charismatic, gorgeous beast of a man. <laughs> but actually, it's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So there can't be anything real. Everything is only nothing apparently happening. Apparently happening. What you're looking at is nothing apparently happening. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. That's bloody amazing. Can I ask you about that word apparently? I've often heard you saying apparently is the killer. When you say apparently, what do you mean by... I mean, it's an appearance. You are looking at an appearance. This is an appearance of nothing. You keep using the word appearance. And it has a, there's nothing real about it. It's just an appearance. So that's why you kind of leave it loose with... You're not, well, we, don't, we don't know. I don't. It we, does. Oh, yeah. It does. We don't know anything. No, we don't. But we don't... How is there to know anything? Yeah. Where, where, where is the Noah? I can't see any Noahs. That's why it apparently people comes up. Believe yeah. they know, or hear that they believe they know, but they aren't really know. There's nothing to know. How would there be anything to know if all there is is the beloved, which is nothing, appearing? So that's the significance of apparently, because I, I hear you using that word a lot. 
I, I don't like I it. Use, no, you hate it. Yeah. Me hates apparently. No, it gives you nothing to hold on to. Can't get hold of it, can't. That's why it's the killer. Apparently. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I love you, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> Tony, just now while I'm sitting here, I'm feeling frustrated because it's becoming obvious that I'm not getting anything. <laughs> and I think once before you called me greedy. Once before of you told me I was greedy. Me the greedy. Yeah. To varying degrees. I feel very greedy at this moment. You feel very... Very greedy at this moment. Greedy. Yeah, yeah. to get something out of this um, meeting. That's okay. But well, do you think also time. part of the attraction to coming here for some people is that mm. they're sick of always being given something? Yeah. You burn. I think that's part of the attraction for me because everyone in my life before saw that I had a problem and they were always telling me what to do to offer me help. And this is like the first time these meetings where mm. I'm not being given absolutely anything. No, no, <laughs> no. And that is the freedom, isn't it? That's isn't compassion. It? You don't see anyone as having a problem at all. No, no, no. But there aren't, there's no one. Well. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Um, you say everything is energy. Everything is energy. Um, well, it is apparent energy, only apparent. Can you also call it the life force energy? Sorry? Life force energy? No, you start naming it and you're getting back into it. That's just apparent energy. This is apparently, this is nothing appearing as bodies are on seat, so there's a sort of energy in it. It's only coming out of nothing. So it's not the f that you feel energy in the body? Well, now you're getting back into analysing energy. Okay. I'm speaking broadly and generally. But well, in the body there seem to be different sorts of energies that arise, but they're all completely meaningless. But in your case, do you feel energy in the body? There is apparent energy in the body, which is meaningless. You don't like that, do you? No, because I think some the me here is waiting for this energy to to disappear. Your, or energy, your energy in your body is very important. Yes, yes, I can see. But strangely, when I walk on across the street, I feel somehow invisible but still there is you feel what invisible when i'm walking on this down the street but still there is this energy in the body so something is right, okay. is so that's what's happening yes apparently, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> thank you and it has no meaning of any kind <laughs>
So it's still here. It hasn't left anywhere. It's still, but it still is what's happening. Have you noticed that? Isn't that bloody amazing? It doesn't matter what we talk about, we can go... Blah, 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 blah. And that's just what's happening. Wow. So you say, uh, actually, you say life is meaningless by saying nothing has a meaning? Whatever appears to happen has no meaning. If it needed meaning, it would need time. There is no time. Nothing happens. So, what's, what's the meaning of life? Or there is meaning. Or over the earth. There is no meaning. It has absolutely no, no mean. meaning. What, what does it have? Sorry? What does it have? Or what is it? It doesn't have anything. Meant it's just for? life. It doesn't just have life. anything. It just is life happening, apparently. That's apparently. It. So, um, there's liking or disliking what's happening or what's apparently happening. Say, so if somebody around you is sick, you can not like what's a apparently happening. Oh, there isn't anybody I don't like, because there isn't anybody. <laughs> okay. But say, for a mother whose child is oh, sick. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a parent mother having to take care of Suffering, a suffering. Well, there isn't the mother that takes care of children. It's what apparently happens. Yeah. But in this dream, there's a lot of suffering apparently yeah, happening. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing to be done. Well, it isn't that there's nothing to be done. Something that, needs to, that seems to be done can get done, but there isn't anybody that does that. It's just what happens. Seems to be a fierce amount of suffering. Oh, yeah, yeah. There seems to be. And a huge amount of pleasure. Sure. Yeah. It's all about, it's all nothing appearing to happen. So we can like it or not. Or well, you can like it or not, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> So this, so this message, so this message leaves you with nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's also apparently. Oh, yeah, apparently. Well done. Yeah. 
You said to me, the, f the first time I ever called you, you said that nothing is the best gift there is. Nothing is the best. Gift there is. The best gift. gift. Oh. Because I rang you and I was talking to you and talking and going on. And then I said, okay, I'll call you another time. We hung up the phone and then I called you back like a minute later. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hi, Tony, it's William again. And you said, hi, William. And I said... Um, I feel like I got absolutely nothing from that. And you said, no, hold on. You got the best gift there is. You got absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then I called you back straight away. No. After <laughs> About four times, I think, that day. Great. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. <laughs> wow. So before the beginning and after the end, is the no place we never left from, right? That is nothing. Before the beginning. There's and no after. beginning and no end. There can't be a beginning or an end. There's no I, story. Before the universe started, is the radical. No, it didn't start. There's no universe. Is it appearance? Yeah, there's no argument with this guy. Well, I'm sorry, but there we are. It's an appearance. We don't well, really let, want to talk about you, something. You do, so you, you do speak about the beloved. You speak about the beloved, this freedom you speak about, it's two sides of the same coin. The beloved is full. It's trust that you speak about love, right? Apparent love is good. I just wanted to... Everything is only apparent. Pardon? There is an apparent universe, if, you, if you'd like there to be. That's, that makes you feel I mean, I, fine. I'm, I just wanted to say that it'd be great if we all would share in this collective beloved that you speak of. They won't happen. I mean, pardon? They won't happen. It's only the beloved. <laughs> we won't right. share it. I mean, the Buddha had no cell phone. And Buddha, we're right. The Buddha. The Buddha, the, right. He had no Buddha cell phone. He was a teacher. But he was also enlightened. Sorry? He was also enlightened. Don't like him. He, he, <laughs> he did. I've never met him. <laughs> what wasn't. Not Wasn't the Buddha the first person? Oh, he lied. Oh, that's me. There's no such thing as it in I understand person. you. Because there's, there's no, no thing as a There's no really talking to you, so I'm just trying to um, express <laughs> my communication because I do believe that enlightenment can evolve and well. consciousness can evolve. And it should, because in this world, it's good to trust. That's all. Thank together. You. Thank you for sharing. As your, one. Thank you for sharing your belief. So I have the picture made. What about Jesus? Pardon? Jesus? Of course I do. Oh, let's not start on Jesus. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much. And thank you. I think it's tomorrow at two o'clock, isn't it? Yeah.